Welcome to another Stottle Winery virtual tasting. My name is Josh Stottlemeyer. I'm the owner and winemaker here. I'm Amy Stottlemeyer, Josh's wife and owner as well. Uh, today we're going to be tasting our 2015 Syrah from Horse Heaven Hills. Uh, this Syrah is, uh, we make it from our Sara Lee clone. Uh, the Sara Lee clone, well, if you're not familiar with clones, clones are basically slight genetic variations uh, of the same grape. So Syrah has, I think, a couple dozen different clones. Um, Pinot Noir, for example, has about a thousand uh, different clones. Uh, and they're all just slight variations. The Sara Lee clone, the reason we use that one is because uh, it's a little more reserved than the more common Phelps clone that you see so much in Washington State, uh, but it has more complexity as well, and we really like it. And it has a lot of structure. We, we played around for a couple of years with some Phelps clones, and we just never really liked them. So this, this vineyard we've used since we started, so it's one of our flagship wines. You can go back to 2008 and find uh, an example of Stottle six prong, although then the vineyard was actually named Ellardine, so the vineyard has been renamed, but it's actually still the same location. Sure, yeah, it was it was Ellardine six prong vineyard, and now it's just six prong vineyard because uh, Steve Ellardine no longer owns a vineyard. Right. Uh, but same grapes, same fruit, same quality um, that we've been using for, for a decade now. Mm, yeah, um, over a decade, but yeah. <laughs> so, let's see here. Um, great aromas on this. Uh, let's start with the color though. Yeah. Um, we've got a, a uh, deep, uh, almost opaque uh, color. It leans more towards purple than ruby. Mm -hmm. um, the rim is starting to color up nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got more of a red ruby rim on this with a, a purple opaque body. Um, really nice color. Um, shows that this is going to be a, a bold uh, wine right. for sure. And the first thing you really get there is, is uh, a really nice coffee aroma. Really comes through uh, strongly right away. And some cedar, cherry, dark chocolate. Makes me want to get to tasting. Yeah, a uh, little bit, a little bit of pencil shavings as well. You know, that's that, that cedar combined with a little graphite aroma. Uh, really subtle um, and. Uh, Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, really nice. I'm already tasting it, you're still smelling. It's typical. Okay, so at the flavors, I'm just gonna jump the gun, but I, I'm getting a lot of dark fruit with initially, and then it kind of after that, it kind of almost lightens up a bit and I get more like a boysenberry, black currant, raspberry. Yeah, I, I get um, more of that kind of coffee flavor mm -hmm. initially. as well, uh, initially, and then the, the fruit comes through mm -hmm. with uh, yeah, raspberry, black currant, mm -hmm. um, uh, and then some, a little bit of hint of strawberry maybe, um, uh, more of the like uh, brighter, brighter mm -hmm. berry fruits. In the middle, and then the finish is a little spice. Yep, absolutely some spice on the end, mm -hmm. um, a little black pepper mm -hmm. comes yep. through nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be a great wine with any peppery dish for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, nice grilled meat uh, mm -hmm. crusted in black pepper or something like mm -hmm. that would be, would be excellent. But the pepper's not overwhelming, so I mean, no, I, I, no. I, sometimes that kind of scares people. It's, it's a pleasant, it's a pleasant black pepper, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like, you know, this is still young for us, um, and it's gonna just continue to kind of show itself more. Right now it's kind of spun a little, and it kind of loosens up, which is really typical characteristic of our Syrah. Yeah, so so I mean, this and, and most sort of wines uh, will age for typically, uh, and continue to improve for typically eight to 12 years. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably on the higher end. Uh, but it's great right now, and if you Trans really want to get uh, more out of it, rather than just drink it at the second it pours out of the bottle, let it sit uh, open for an hour or so, and that will really open up and show more of its potential. That's so hard to do, even if you can just do 10 minutes and then give it a nice swirl. 
So if you're looking at purchasing this wine, you can visit us online at www.stottlewinery.com or you can come in and purchase a bottle at either our Stottle Lacey location or our Stottle Hoodsport location. Yeah, absolutely, and, and uh, for fast service, you can order online and select pickup as well. Um, any way that works for you, we're also doing curbside here uh, uh, for whoever wants it, uh, or of course you're welcome to come in. Mm -hmm. Please. Please support us and do uh, click that like button and subscribe that'll help us out a lot and we will see you at the next one thank you cheers